Hello everyone and welcome back to Interview with Abhimanyu. I'm back with another crazy awesome story. My guest today is a startup genius. The startup that he's currently building is called Escopop and Escopop makes ice creams or popsicles as he likes to call them. These ice creams are preservative free, uh, they have no artificial flavor and they don't have any harmful colors. Escopop started two years ago with just one store in Pune and today you can find Escopop ice creams in Gujarat, in Bangalore, in Chennai, in Mumbai and they are growing. You won't believe, when we were conversation kar rahe the, he ordered a few popsicles for us and I tried this flavor called Madagascar chocolate and guys it is, it's he studies cultural influences on behavior practices and consumer behavior jo unhe na ki apne startup mein help karta hai but he also consults other startups and he makes business plans for them guys he's a friend of mine he loves reading mythology he loves history he loves motorcycling and he has also been a softball champion for nine consecutive times when he was a kid I had an amazing time having this conversation with him and I'm sure that you will absolutely love this conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my friend Rohan Kapadia. Listen, we really need to find something else. I'm, I'm done with the clap now. I don't want to. How, How do you create a clap thing over? How much is it going to be? How cool is it? Take one. Hey, what if, what if there's like some audio that you can play? Some whip or something. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Some fart noise or something. Oh, you get fart buttons. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whoopee yeah. cushion. I'll sit and I'll just jump on it. Hey, there's a palak stuck in your teeth. I should say, na. Because the thing is that anyone who puts content on Instagram, right, has got the authority or you know the right to call themselves a content creator, which they are in a way, technically. But you know, no, that has always happened. जो भी बोलता है उसकी बात लोग सुनते हैं. Hmm. And then suddenly it becomes this, you know, yeah. somebody becomes an authority. See, I think that that is what Instagram has done to all of us. It's a, like everybody is, like everybody is a, a celebrity in themselves now. Yeah. And they want to be and they are. That's true. Even YouTube actually helped back a lot. So many. There are so, so many, many people who want to be in front of the camera, but obviously Bollywood can't take so many people. Exactly. So YouTube helped. <laughs> so nowadays, it's not even about Bollywood. It's about, say for example, now Escopop is the mm-hmm. uh, startup where I'm associated with right now. We are built because of Instagram. Instagram made us from one store which we we started two years ago in Korega Park to what we are here right now, where we have one store and we have two stores in Pune. One in Chennai, one more coming up there. So all because of one in social Gujarat. Media. Yeah. Um, Go, uh, Gudrid Nature's Basket in Bombay, Pune, and Bangalore. Nice. Only because of Instagram, I would say. We don't have too many followers, but people. What I think people want to know stories. They want yeah. to know brands who are genuine mm-hmm. and who tell stories and who are not just another hired kia who are content creators. Right. At Escopa, we've been clicking pictures ourselves. We've been creating content ourselves. Mm. Of course, there are a few um, doodling that you know we get yeah, from, professionally. But all the stories are done by us. We mm. let them know how we make it. How do we make the popsicles? What fruits are we cutting today? Right. If we found the bad fruit today, what is the season like right now? What fruits are you know healthy for you? Which even our failures we post it on. Oh, we made the anyway. orange pop. Yeah, we made the orange popsicle that everybody just hated. And I don't think you should worry about followers because let's say let's say that that quality walls comes on Instagram. I don't think that will you know gather yeah. many followers. But everyone so knows. So you know what, that and all your followers depends entirely on what you're posting. You can how, be how you are posting. You can how? be a dentist page, but if you if the style in which you take pictures and which you caption it, I find it interesting. I followed anyway even the dentist. Mm-hmm. Last week is and I have nothing to do with him. He's just interesting and it's fun to see it when I scroll. Right. So it's all about aesthetics, like how you aesthetics is very important. Yes, yeah. relevance. Relevance. Very yes, important. humor. A little touch of humor. But but tell me honestly, sometimes I think relevance goes for a toss, doesn't it? I'm not talking about your business or most sure. of the people, but look at people who are really famous, but. You know that they don't deserve it. You know many yeah. people, yeah. right? But yeah. their relevance goes for a toss, right? You know that this guy is bullshitting. I know this woman See, is bullshitting. Relevance <laughs> also is attached to aspiration. Okay. India, mein, 
जो फेक नाइकी गुड्स बिकते हैं राइट right. क्यों बिकते हैं व्हाई वुड लेट्स से व्हाई वुड आई वांट टू बाय अ फेक एडिडास और अ नाइकी अफोर्डेबल एस्पिरेशनल वैल्यू वन डे आई विल बाय द ओरिजिनल सो टुडे बिकॉज़ आई कैन नॉट अफोर्ड इट आई वांट टू बाय द फेक आई विल बाय द फर्स्ट और द सेकंड और थर्ड कॉपी इवन ओके बट इट सेल्स व्हिच इज व्हाई दीस ब्रांड्स आर लेटिंग देम सेल्फ व्हिच इज व्हाई the people who make the fake goods they don't mind me the original the original, original brand they don't mind yeah. yeah yeah and it's absolutely cool yeah. and people are buying like crazy you won't even believe ye cheez dekh kar reebok nike adidas have come down to like a 300 400 100 shoe when we were growing up yeah they didn't have it they didn't have yeah. such cheap shoes they like 3 400 are are we recording mintra yeah. Both? पावर के शूज पावर एंड सो for us you know this brand thing the awareness or you know it gives you an edge over others this mentality this mindset it wasn't prevalent at that time yeah. so when adidas came and we saw the commercials and all so you wanted to wear those shoes yeah. right yeah. and i wanted to at that time at that time when i was in 7th or 8th my father gave me shit for buying me a 1500 2000 bucks ka shoe at that time yeah yeah, yeah. 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 And, and also the tabhi 5 saal mein ek aad bar aise koi shoes aate rahenge i mean like You you like 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 Yeah, I I honestly don't know if it's a Indian brand or if it's from I don't know I don't know It's like Bata I was like I think yeah. 26 Everyone thought Bata was Indian everyone no, no, thought Bata Bata is Italian right but yeah. <laughs> No I don't think it's Italian but it's from outside of India yeah, somewhere Yeah it's from India And it's yeah. huge and I was like And Bata makes Agi yeah shoes yeah, and I But the cheap dude Yeah comfortable yeah, dude school school, school, school mein to compulsory tha yaar Bata yeah, yeah, pehna compulsory I agree but if you go to a Bata store for casual shoe wear you don't go to bata for casual shoe <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah now they are trying to they have to brand they, they, they have to they have to yeah, they have they have gotten better like i sorry to cut everybody off let's order some popsicles young yeah, people with order please what we, we would what like what flavors to do you want to have I so i think i had the chocolate one now this you had it before I yeah i've had it before i think was it you all like it's like your part of alfresco in phoenix was that your No? no but but no, I don't know that. but you used to call yourself isko bar right isko bar isko bar and you had pablo's wo so you got into let me tell you what happened yeah so we started out as isko bar right. because it's eskimo bar Plus, yeah so we wanted to associate it uh, we wanted the choco bar name to be associated yeah. Yeah. Hmm. so we started out as isko bar and hmm. narcos was out at that yeah. time and we were like oh fuck isko bar isko bar is damn cool <laughs> we have a lot of expats as um, our audience okay so one fine day a colombian lady walked into the store okay with her son oh this is awesome <laughs> she started sobbing <laughs> she started crying in the store oh she, shit she has i been. was that so harshi and i were always around and she will be your my wife your wife she and will. the brains behind making the escape pop oh nice 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 everything. so um we were always around and so we started out as a one machine we used to make it fresh serve it fresh right din khatam mal khatam there's no stock nothing nothing yeah. uh people would wait uh for like half an hour for us to you know finish one batch of ice cream so they could have and stuff like that um so there's this lady who walked in and she started so being we were there thankfully and she is like that i came half way across the world huh. to run away from this entire Pablo Escobar story it really oh. and i come to pune <laughs> just to find you guys here selling popsicles by selling the name escobar glorifying <laughs> him he has killed half of my family but that is fact that's a fact man that's a fact dude but you never we were not thought to come you go for the cool yeah. thing right trendy it's, yeah. it's like we, are, we were trying to do it for fun right it's mm-hmm. 
we didn't even want to glorify pablo escobar it's not the idea the idea was the scheme was you were going with the pop culture i agree yeah. i agree and she started sobbing and we were like shit now what and then that happened um but it was a wise move removing that name you know some people get adamant that okay fuck it it's none of my business right? I'm, i'm selling you uh, yeah but that was a wise issue. so then what happened is that a couple of ngos were just around and you know they sent us a email or a letter saying that you know you all are glorifying drug lords yeah and promoting the drug culture and no so we are selling ice cream man so basically which is uh, the time when we were expanding to our second store hmm. and there were trademark issues because there was so much of controversy around the name i thought that you must have received a letter or you know you must have got served that okay change your name or you know there'll be consequences i thought of something completely different i thought people would be thinking that it's a bar like a bar and that's why we do still think that we are a bar like our vendors still <laughs> get us invoices bar. saying that acha esko bar se aaya hai everyone even if you have not watched natus you still know pablo escobar is it's not no 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 i'm i'm talking about associating bar with you know the oh. popsicle bar rather than no, you know sharab wala bar i i don't even think of the popsicle fact i don't know maybe they thought you were selling like alcohol infused ice cream oh my god yeah yeah privately we can <laughs> should no, no no just for fun for you. so um we can't sell it officially obviously yeah. because we don't have the licenses and stuff well, uh, sell well, liquor should... license so you know we cannot use we cannot infuse alcohol in food okay um if you don't have the license which mm-hmm. is you know a whole yeah, yeah, different yeah, yeah you can't do that we have to look at not one shop now we have to look at escopop as a brand, brand which yeah, is available yeah. in multiple cities mm. even in a very very small scale mm. but still we are there in multiple cities right so you know we have to make sure that the brand identity does not clash with you know what we are trying to achieve now yeah. escopop was set out to be a 100% sustainable food kind of a concept yeah. mm. wherein we could feed our own children and have a conscious and have our conscience clear end of the day right so right. it's made without any preservatives without any artificial mm. color no harmful chemicals that's the need of the hour. i think every product. brand should work like this i mean they should start working like this or start thinking like this i know it's not easy and yeah. you can't change like in a day right but yeah, yeah everyone should and now hold for a while because we it's like i i haven't started the thing. i just have to do a little formal thing that welcome to the show uske baad oh, we just back you can do this like at the end right <laughs> I know I will start to then I can go back home that's be the, more that, conscious that's about that's the only scripted thing that we do on the show that okay welcome to the show Rohan okay, okay but I'm not going to even react after that I'm no. not going to like thank you so much for inviting me here I can do that right? bro let me do that at least <laughs> I'm not letting me do that okay 3 2 1 <laughs> go you already clapped that's uh, another one for you you just aren't letting me start <laughs> god damn it <laughs> let me start the show huh <sighs> Welcome to the show, bro. Good to have you over here. <laughs> now, now we can go back. It's okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Now he's conscious. Oh. No, I was looking at Goku. I thought he was going to do a line, <laughs> and the camera was not going to be on me. I'm like, what? No. What the fuck is wrong with Goku? And suddenly, he's not interested. That's the show. That's that's how it is, man. It's just that there's, uh, you know, there's a way to, to just initiate. Then we are all dirty again. Yeah. So, so the thing is, since we are doing this formally, <laughs> so uh, when I when I first met you, I th- you told me about the uh, uh, stuff that you're studying, right? Cultural influences on business, business practices and, and how, consumer behavior and consumer behavior. So I thought I thought that you know uh, first impressions, right? So I thought you were you are a scholar, of course. I wouldn't call you anything else because you are also about to. Uh, it's so scholars, you know, scholar. That's how scholars are made. सारे में तो मैं भी पास हो गया सो बट देन आई रेड योर बायो टूड वॉट द हेल यू हैव लिव्ड एन इंटरेस्टिंग लाइफ सो फार आई एम नॉट लाइंग आई एम नॉट लाइंग आई मीन लेट्स जस्ट यू नो टेक यू नो वन थिंग एट अ टाइम बट इफ यू हैव एन आर्क टू इट लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट स्टार्ट विद समथिंग दैट्स ओके बट आई वुड रियली वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट विद द कल्चरल इन्फ्लुएंस लाइक यू नो हाउ डू यू या लेट्स जस्ट यू नो सो I have done my masters right and um, as soon as I finished my masters in between my professors and I you know we spoke about getting a phd okay like we didn't speak like I wanted to get one and right. I spoke to them them about it because I came from a science based university right they were not very cool on you know having me do a 
PhD in social sciences, hmm. which is this. I have always been um, very um, interested in <coughs> the way our thinking leads to, you know, how we buy hmm. or how we conduct business. Hmm. Let's say, for example, a few people living in Rajasthan back in the day where there was scarcity of water, scarcity of food, no opportunities, people were nomads. Suddenly, if you cut like 1000 years later, which is now, right. you see all these Marwadi businessmen hmm. who, are, who are doing phenomenally well. Everywhere, job. everywhere. So it's because of, is what I like to believe that it is because of their DNA, it is because of the way they think, their ancestors used to think. And culturally, ki pani sambal ke pine ka, hmm. grain sambal ke rakhne ka, sab ka account hona chahiye, right. sab balances hone chahiye. Right. So ye inculcate hote ka, because they were nomads also, they were risk takers also. So which is what, you know, I loved to, you know, study amongst people. Hmm. Then when, when I was living in Singapore, I was studying um, people from different smaller countries around Singapore. Okay. Which were the Vietnamese, the Filipino, the Indonesians, hmm. the Cambodians. Um, it's very nearby, so you know, I had the opportunity to travel a lot. Okay. So I traveled a lot in Southeast Asia. Right. Very small things like um, if you happen to visit Cambodia now, you see a very different Cambodia that um, is not linked culturally to their past. Hmm. Now, Cambodia was a Hindu country, then became a Buddhist country, now it's a Christian country, and it's a mix of everything. Um, 30, 40 years ago, there was a dictator there who massacred around 75% of the entire population of Cambodia. Okay. So you see that they are disconnected culturally. Huh. So if you go and see how they sell stuff, it's all lost. It's all the way they learn from the tourists or they learn from the Westerners right. of, you know, how to sell things, hmm. you know, how to um, create a, a new product and sell it to people and things like that. So I would, so I love to study that. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to pursue this right now and I want to put a degree on it. So okay. Yeah. So, so when you like, uh, you were from a science background, right? No, no, I'm from a commerce background. My okay. university was just a science okay, okay, okay. focus. Right, university. right, right. So what subject are we, when you say social science, social sciences is vast like an umbrella term. So when you did your... Uh, Masters. Yeah, in? In technopreneurship and innovation. So it's entrepreneurship and innovation. Okay, okay. But so it's some tech based. Right, so how did you switch to this? Like what, like, you know? Uh, since before, so I'm a hardcore commerce guy. Hmm. Um, junior college commerce. BBA course right. and this was again entrepreneurship hmm. so you know I was into this from a very long time I was basically more into mythology and how, another thing that I want to talk about yeah um, which is so how mythology affects the way we um, do things in India let's say for example yeah um, why is it that we worship sun or you know why is it that you know even like my baby why is it that that our parents take her and show her to the sun. Right. They say ki vitamin D milta hai, but wo to hai, but uske alawa bhi kya hai. Right. Because you know, that has been dictating <coughs> um, the Indian culture for a very long time. So when you say mythology, you've been an ardent reader of mythology, but is it only Hindu mythology or you... Hindu and Greek mythology. Greek mythology. Right. So right. Zeus, Zeus, Poseidon, the, the uh, Homer stuff, right? Yeah, Odyssey and Odyssey. Uh, yes. The Odyssey and uh, what's the Iliad, Iliad and Odyssey, right? So, um, it's 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 a different thought process if you look at both the okay. um, way of storytelling. Hmm. Now, all right. Now, another very interesting point is uh, Western superhero movies versus Indian superhero movies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Superhero ni hero based movie. Okay. If you always see the Western hero based movies, they are all based on the Greek mythology or the Greek way of storytelling. I can relate Thor to it because Thor is one of the gods, right? Yeah. Di- uh, ki- directly mat karo. Now, let's say for example, um, a statue okay. of Zeus, huh. who is equivalent to Indra in the Indian mythology. Yeah, right? Lord of Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. If you see Zeus, he's he's the king of gods. Right. If you see his Pratima, right. he's a chiseled six-pack abs. Yeah, heavy, you know, like, yeah. 
thunder or like uh, oh, lightning fegra i have one you know beard and like a very yeah. you know strong looking guy versus when you see ram hmm. ram ki chavi aapko kabhi bhi aisa muscular dikhai nahi dekh he is a lean guy like very you know, sophisticated, very sophisticated. Yeah. he knows he is going to shoot yeah he knows he is going to fire yeah. and it's going to hit the bullseye yes so that's the um difference in thought process hmm. um if you see a salman khan movie we don't go to watch him in a character we go to watch salman, salman khan as salman khan right. he is the same guy in dabang in whatever other movie that he has it's the same guy yeah and he is always the hero from first one yeah if you see all the hindu mythology stories like a lot of them they are born heroes hmm krishna is always a god hmm. he was born a king he is always the yeah I and mean, from yeah. there we follow his story yeah, and right. we start uh, we start to worship but, him but that's the same with greek as Ram. well right because the uh, dionysus there is no fallen um, zeus there are fallen god like see like gods do fall there so previously there were the titans yeah which were the old gods which were replaced by Uh, you know these new yeah. gods right so if you see their story there is always the way of storytelling is what i'm focusing here on there is a nobody who's a nobody who's let's say um hercules huh. who's when he was born he was not like born born now um let's say spider man right the story he is a nobody hmm. he gets bitten or whatever there's some incident that right, happens right, in right, his right, life yeah. and then he becomes a somebody yeah there is always a nobody becoming a somebody yeah um there you will always see the young will take over the old hmm. always right so the old gods were there the new gods came they took over the hmm. old gods so young in age wise also if you see the presidents the prime ministers there a lot of them are young who have been influenced by the greek mythology um in india or the hindu mythology has influenced people who are wise hindu mythology doesn't only mean religion based hindu right hindu, yeah there's a hindu fine line between word which yeah. was coined by the british we were not hindus ever we were people from the indus valley which indus is was the one hindu. india and indus was the one that was coined so by sindhu. the british yeah sindhu river from sir nahi bol sakte the yeah how Hindu, Hindu 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 river, river was called yeah, Sindhu, right? Yeah. So Sindhu, so Hindu Kushkar ke, there is 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 still a mountain mountain range, range. Yeah, which is west of Afghanistan. Hmm. So from Afghanistan, so from from basically Iran to the coast of Japan Japan yeah. where our area of influence always was. Yeah. When Alexander the Great came, tried to conquer um, tried to push them back. and stuff like that there was a lot of a, a lot of cultural exchange that happened right which is where we also get to see that how the alexander way of thinking was so different than indian way of thinking yes usko pure world pe raj karna hmm. when he met these naga sadhus yeah. in the forest hmm. you will so he was like you know if you if you individually go here tera piche ka sab adwast ho jayega if you go back then tera yahan ka sab adwast ho jayega So you have to be in balance always. तो जितना कॉन्कर किया है उतना ही और आगे है उससे भी और ज्यादा है और तू पहला बंदा नहीं है जो ये चीज करने सो वे ऑफ स्टोरी टेलिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू मी एंड यू नो आई थिंक हिंदू माइथोलॉजी स्टोरीज से जो भी आया है देव ऑलवेज हैड अप्पी एंडिंग Right. So even the Bollywood movies that you see now, plus they were always royalties, right? Always were, royalties. Noble blood, noble family. Yeah, they are always now. Indian election. Yeah. The PM right. was always portrayed as the chosen one, the great one. He is yeah. always great. He is not. He has come from a humble Are background. You talking about the incumbent Modi, Prime right? Modi. Yeah. So Modi was always portrayed as Modi is going to solve all the problems. Right. He is a guy with all the answers. Right. He is. he is portrayed as that guy right. which is why he did so well whereas if you say ki oh i am one of you all you know i don't have all the answers the people don't vote for you yeah we want a strong strong leader father figure kind of a guy hmm. so very soon this fellow also like say 
And um, there is a risk involved because it involves decisiveness, right? And when he had his tenure, like the previous one, you can't deny that this guy did not take strong decisions, right? He, yeah. he, and those were risks in a way. Those were risks. They paid off well. You can see the elections, right? I mean, who can deny or who can argue with that? Look at the numbers. Sure. Numbers talk, right? Sure. So, yeah, on the other side, if the way you're saying, you know, that you don't give people that hope that, okay, I'm not going to solve your problem. I'm going to give you love. Then nobody's going to... Honestly, Ram. I'm talking about Rahul Gandhi right now. Yeah. yeah. You have to be the Ram in this country if you want to make it. You have to be portrayed as, oh, this person is going to do this. Mm-hmm. DC Universe. Right. Right. The highest grossing film in India mm-hmm. is Aquaman. Okay. Yes, in India. Not the Dark Knight trilogy? No, no I mean that's, that's Marvel Universe. Hey, oh, right? so blasphemy. Right? <laughs> so, so, DC <laughs> mein sabse jada paisa India mein Aquaman mein banaya. Okay. Kyu, kyu banaya? Because people could relate the Asian way of thinking, which is not only Indian, which is around India also, hmm. which is of a superhero being born as a, as a superhero. Okay. Aquaman, when he was a kid, you can see the scenes where he's in the aquarium and you know when he's a kid and people yeah. are trying to bully him yeah. he's like and all these fishes so he's always a superhero he's not become one or he's right. not trying to hide yeah. like superman ki nahi main to super power hai mere paas but i'm not going to show it to you guys yeah. that doesn't work in it you have to be a superhero since you're born uh, okay like so we go to hero banna hi hai matlab ha see because that's how we were. so in my comic book days right we were coming up with a story about um so there's this superhero lady called as tikshna who so the story goes um, indian comics are indian you talking com- about raj comics no akin comics my first art no way you have you've started the a comic book company and sold it no fucking way <laughs> you this, this is not doing enough research i'm telling yeah. you no <laughs> I mean, no, wait, you, I, I, shit, tell yeah, me about that, it. Yeah, so that's, that's my first Because concept, I'm a right? huge Raj comics fan. I, l- I love, because you see all the, Nagraj. you know, all the, they've ripped Dhruv. DC and Marvel off, Super Marvel. So Super you see, Tiranga, that's Captain America, yeah, yeah. right? Shield and, that's uh, uh, Iron Man, no, not Iron Man, but Inspector Steel, Bhedia, all these characters. Toga, bro. Toga. Yeah. 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 It's, I mean, yeah. Doga. <laughs> Doga. 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 He's like a dude, like a man, but with a dog's face. That's his, you know. And you know why? And he carries heavy machine and buffed up dude. And you know why does he wear a dog's face? Okay, I don't know that. I don't know. Because I was you not, know I, I wasn't a Doga fan. Because Doga was a orphan and he was always treated like a dog because he was an orphan. Oh. And he grew up in the slums right. with dogs. So that's why he's... Doga. Doga. You need to read. Uh, like, uh, they were in Hindi. And many people are like, eh, Hindi comics, DC Marvel. But they were so good. Dude, I mean, DC Marvel didn't reach you. No, it didn't reach me. And you know, each Raj comic ka jo copy hota tha, that used to cost 15 bucks or yeah. 10 or 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One or two DC comics, they did show up in the... Yeah, you know, Joe's, yeah. Stra- we used to call them stationery shops, yeah. Yeah. Milta tha, stationary shop. so I went there with my mom and I was like, first class, second class, it was like third, fourth. So those were 70, 80, 90. So yeah. you get that vibe from your parents like, fuck off, no, yeah. no, 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 not going to happen. No, <laughs> but yeah, by the and I was happy with that. Yeah. I could yeah, never connect. Great. Tell great. me about your comics. Ka. Yeah. So. so I'll just tell you what I was trying to finish. Uh, Popsicle that year, I believe. Yeah. So before we get back to your comics ka startup, I want to tell me about this. Yeah. This is like so. Uh, let's not talk about fruits right now. So, how do you make the chocolate flavor? And it has no preservatives. Zero preservatives. Is it good? And I word mm-hmm. man. <laughs> I love the fact that the way you enjoy <laughs> your own brand, you know, usually there's this old saying, right? Jo log, uh, log halwai. Halwai halwai and look at you, you're like, hmm. <laughs> So this has zero sugar added. Can you believe it? Yummy. Oh, zero yummy. sugar added. So sweetness? 60% dark chocolate. Or dates? Yummy. 60% dark chocolate. Okay. Milk. Right. How do you sweeten it? That's my question. Uh, the chocolate compound mein jitna sweetness hai. Oh, all oh, 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 right, all oh, right. So there is sugar then because compound mein hota hai. Compound. Compound mein hota hai. But no added sugar. No added sugar. Okay. But can you claim that there's no added sugar because compound has sugar? No added. 
subieron a la cara. Es que me hago. But That's we genuinely don't, and we genuinely don't want to. So if you get the like one of the best chocolates in the world, it should, is what goes into this. Mm. Um, so if you get a sugar-free variant, then these are just fine. Very good. Because I like it's not sweet. It's not sweet. Because when it goes like extremely, yeah, yeah. Then it's like, yeah, okay, it's fine. So, Escobar, I was like that we were so sure that people who have sweet chai hmm. will not like Escobar products because we don't put sugar in most of the pops hmm. of the ice creams. You need to know the audience yeah, or the your customer. Yeah. And yeah, people are over it. And if you do want to, you have more, you have other brands from who you can have the sweet stuff. Yeah. So the uh, fruit ones are hmm. with zero milk. So I was zero having day. this conversation with uh, my guests who mm-hmm. were designers. I told you about them, mm-hmm. right? So Dhan and Nitin. So we had this little conversation about premium products. So do you put your product as a premium product on the shelves? So because I mean, it, falls in, it, it does fall in the category. Because first thing, you always go to nature's basket and you find premium stuff. Mm. Yeah. And uh, your fridge is right there when you enter. See, you know see, you know what, from a brand's point of view, mm. there's a lot of clutter in the mass market. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> it. Yeah. About yeah. We are not calling ourselves as candy sticks. Mm. Um, Madagascar chocolate bar. Mm. Because you immediately start comparing this with a choco bar. Hmm. Or Amul ka pandra rupe wala dolly. Right, right. That's so, all sugar. That's all sugar. That's why we have to call this as popsicles. Yeah. <laughs> it's different. It's different. Yeah, you need Gelato to. popsicles. Right? Yeah. You need this, this is the gelato one. The one that you put in the freezer is the sorbet. It's pure. Sorbet. sorbet. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. So, we have a crazy consumer base hmm. which are diabetic and come and pick up our jamun popsicle. Hmm. Because it's got... Jamun. Jamun is magic on yeah. diabetes, right? Yeah. And super duper low on sugar. So everybody is very cool. Okay, is it just me or, you know, Jamun, when you bite on Jamun, the fruit fruit Jamun? It's very soft. It's not, of course it is, but it's sweet as well. But Your mouth is dry. Yeah, yeah. It's like Trifla, if you've ever had that. It's Trifla? <laughs> You'll get to know in a few years. <laughs> so, it's like... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, a laxative, um, uh, an Ayurvedic medicine as well for many diseases. Or so, I have to you for having to taste of the laxative. No, dude, you have all the sweet and samosa and the farsan of the world. <laughs> <laughs> and in the night, you have a trifala. And in the morning, you have a Oh, my is this, is this like a white powdery thing? It's green in like color. Like a goal? No, it's a goal is husk, basically, right? It's it's fiber. It's a goal oh. is fiber, pure fiber. And uh, trifala is... Uh, Made out of amla, mainly. It's mainly amla and two other things. I don't know what. Three fala. Three, yeah, teen fala. That's how the. No, these were kick ass, bro. I'm not. I lying. love this one. I can't help it. <coughs> I had my cousin also had it that day. Hmm? When we were there. When when we. You support us, please go and buy. Yeah, when we get. He, I, when, 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 when we, uh, you know. This, I'm going to make my dad tell. My dad really likes dark chocolate, and he loves having sweet. When we get big, right, I want to be a brand ambassador for this co pop. Please consider. You can read you now. Huh? I should happily so, be a brand ambassador. <laughs> so, because I love the idea. Like I said, that Instagram has helped us yeah. become who we are. Yeah. We um, invited a lot of bloggers. Okay. On Instagram bloggers. Influencers. No. Influencers. Yeah, no we are influencers. influencers. No influencers. Okay. We did not invite any influencer. <laughs> We invited regular people right. who were photographers, college students, struggling actors, whoever we thought um, makes sense or are relevant or their posts are relevant to the Aman. Right. We only invited those. Right. We got them to the store. We, we asked them to try a free popsicle because, you know, we don't want to... You want to like pressurize them, yeah, I don't want to give them money. But genuinely, it's not that much. It's not that much. It's not that much. I'm like, fuck. I want to have one. What do I do? <laughs> so, yeah. So, we gave them a free pop and we asked them to give the genuine review. Hmm. We didn't say that write this about it. Hmm. We, gave, we gave them the info 
कि दिस इज सिक्सटी परसेंट डार्क चॉकलेट हैव दे केम अप विद ओन रिव्यूज देर ओन स्टेटमेंट दे बिकेम अवर ब्रांड एम्बेसिडर दे पोस्टेड अपॉन दिस Nice. We always wanted to be the kind of people who are relevant. That's the most important. Like Rohan, relevant to Padia. He is my name. Oh yeah, fill up. Because we don't want like unnecessary. Uh, so, food bloggers. A lot of time when they post picture of let's say an ice cream, mm. it might look like a popsicle dipped in chocolate, drizzled with rainbow mm. sparkles, served on a unicorn's head. <laughs> and when you and I go and order the same thing, it comes like this. Yes, yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. So we didn't want that. Yeah. We wanted genuine stuff, which is a genuine review. Mm. So I, so for me, Amitabh Bachchan, who if he comes and says that have a man, I should talk about this. वो ज़्यादा relevant नहीं लगेगा. If Abhiman you post on his Instagram and says that hey man, I have this and it, and it will be damn good. I understand. Because I know you. Yeah. I know your taste preferences because you know one is a friend and you know I like you don't know you well and blah blah blah. So that's why we call very real people. Yeah, yeah. Who do real posts, and we call a lot of them, and that is how we started growing. Which is when then influencers came up, right? And they like that. Hey, this is relevant. Huh. They charge a lot of money, but they're like, yeah, we don't know pay money, right? <laughs> Please, you can have a popsicle for free, of course, yeah. and you know, post about yeah. it. But that's it. Yeah, we have not paid a single influencer money. Yeah, that's me. That's a good When strategy. Starting out. That's a good strategy. Never. And uh, yeah, I, I, I've, I've known a few, and you know, this friend who was also a guest. So she told us about a few, certain, you know, influencers and the amount they charge for one single post. Dude, yeah. people don't even know them. It's crazy. Do you know life? रेस्टोरेंट to get an influencer what does the brand get out of it is the question it doesn't do just khali mere ko like mera product khali uske is pe dikha visible hua khatam yeah aisa nahi hona chahiye social media should lead to sales right yeah. i have written an article about this and why social media needs to it needs to convert to sales only then it makes sense when it just doesn't make sense But but I think it That's has dropped idea. now. This influencer game, it's dropping and it will go down because now every account can boost their posts, right? You know, mm-hmm. you pay a little um, money and then you boost your post. So if you are selling something, so after every two stories, if you see is go pop, right? So people are gonna oh whoever is interested oh I've seen this right. So that's it how you can work like that. Man. Not even that. No, I mean you can do that, but it doesn't work that way. Okay. If you hate. Dark chocolate, and if I keep on fucking pushing dark chocolate on your face, you'll be. Like, but that's how you filter your audience out as well, right? Then you have to filter the yeah. audience. Then you have to hit the right audience. So okay. there's like tons of research that one needs to do to reach the DG. Ah, nice, nice. Which is when you ask that, are you in the premium segment? I'm right. Like, no, but I want to be available in places where people are done having. आपने अमूल खा लिया हैव मोर खा लिया नेचुरल्स खा लिया बास्किन रॉबिन्स खा लिया ना यू आर कॉन्शियस about your health huh. you are done khatam yeah. ho gaya yeah. so you should be little i'm not saying affluent but you should have done all of that right now you're like boss simplicity yeah game, why the fuck not it real yeah. stuff is what i want to as long as now. you're telling people that okay fruits are real there's no canned stuff tin stuff there are no preservatives plus you even put the you know when you uh, Throw the bad fruit out. You're putting yeah. that as your post as well. That's all one needs to know about no, a we, brand. We also see every batch of escopop tastes different because every fruit tastes different. You don't find two, sorry, you don't find two mangoes who taste the same, right? Like which taste the same, right? Huh? थोड़ा सा threshold है हमारा पर वो वो उन्नीस बीस होता है and we are okay with that fact. I'm glad that we you're pushing like that. that. Yeah, yeah, in an ice cream. You know, of course. 
Madagascar <laughs> chocolate is controlled. Right. This will taste like this every time. Okay, okay. Yeah, it should. It should. <laughs> but let's see, a jamun or a plum or a peach. Mm. Now, Esco Pop, every season, our <laughs> flavors also change. Mm. See, we can preserve jamun and mango right. nowadays with techniques of flash, flash freezing fruits. Mm. We can preserve. Right. We can't preserve plum. Yeah. We can't preserve peach. So, it's coming in season. Mein aara hai. Mm. Season mein aaya to full peach. Season khatam, peach flavor will be discontinued. Right. So there are many such flavors that we have, which are seasonal. extremely genuine. Okay. Yeah, like seasonal and genuine. Stuff. Right. So yeah. getting back to the startup yeah. thing. So you also, you know, help other people who come for startups, don't you? Fuck, I'm nobody to help anybody. But I just yeah. try to share whatever yeah. I have. But, but start with yeah, your comic wala part. So how did you begin? Like So, um... Did you have superheroes in, in your mind? I was. I believed that I was a superhero. <laughs> no, awesome. Yeah. yeah I, when my dad still you, believe? Shit, now reality has hit me <laughs> fucking hard these days. Yeah. I, but I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he's there on the inside. <laughs> maybe I'm waiting for like a spider to come and bite my ass. <laughs> or something like that. Let's <laughs> something very, very depressing to happen. Yeah, yeah. tragedy. Yeah. So yeah, how did it begin? So, um... My first startup was Arkin Comic. First official startup was Arkin Comic. Before that, since how, I was a kid. You, what's the name? Arkin. A-R-K-I-N. A-R-K-I-N. Yeah. yeah. So Arkin Comics happened when um, I was studying BBA hmm. in Pune and Viman Nagar. Uh, I was 17, which is when I started the first startup. Um, I didn't tell my dad about it until what we were like seven, eight months in. Okay. Whatever pocket money I used to get, I, I used to pay a salary <laughs> for a guy <laughs> from that pocket wow. money. <laughs> and you know, but yeah, was the guy a designer? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 okay. Designer. Yeah. Because I can't design for shit. Right, right. I can just come up with mm. shit. I can't design shit. So, uh, so it all started by having customized comic books. Mm. So, uh, we created templates mm. uh, of stories and uh, he or she can upload his or her photograph on our website. Okay. In three angles, yeah. and our designer would make their look-alike superhero, okay. and make their very own customized comic. Okay. So this was one part of it, right? Which we were selling for nine ninety nine back in the day. Oh. Um, we would print it from Staples Print Center. Staples yeah. was this. Uh, but were people company. willing to pay nine hundred ninety nine? They did pay. Oh. Yeah, Staples yeah. store yeah. I tha beach mein. Uh, it was in Kaapri Mall. It is a global. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we used to print it with them. We had a tie-up with them. You know, they would print. So we we had a type with Mintra back in the day okay. when they were doing customized t-shirts and shit huh. like that. Huh. They existed? Mintra was there. Mintra is an old company. I went to Whitefield, Bangalore to have a meeting with the Mintra guys when they were doing customized um, UEFA League ka jerseys okay. and you know stuff like that. So we used to have like a like a look like superhero ka mug and t-shirt uh-huh. design thingy also. So we did that. Along with that we had our own production house. Where we had Indian superheroes. Hmm. So we had Irith Karke, this comic book okay. uh, title. We had Kriti in Volke, which is a team of young superheroes. Uh, sorry, Irith is a team of superheroes where the Nick Fury of Nama oh, okay. <laughs> who happens to look like Nano Bhatekar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were chepoing, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Like it was inspired I from Yeah, inspired, inspired, yes. Um, so <laughs> he. He worked for Raw huh. and um, his job was to track the bloodline of all these ancient king and queens. Okay, nice. Like Pandavas. Razia Sultana okay. or um, Prithira Chauhan right. and, and stuff like that. Huh. And um, Aryabhatta. Okay. Uh, and According to like the that. conspiracy theories, did Mughals lead to Gandhi's, the current Gandhi? <laughs> there are conspiracy oh, theories. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is true. And that's not true, but you know. No, I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm only talking about a comic book story. These guys are doing a fucking different tangent right now. I'm just talking about a piece of the comic book story. Let's get back, yeah. So, yeah, so his job was to track these ancient kings and queens of bloodline. And he had a thing where he could gene reboot. So, let's say if you are a descendant of this great king, if you reboot your gene, you have the abilities of your ancestors. ancestors. So, that was the story. Nice. And... He created this modern day team of superheroes right. who would, you know, fight these How alien guys. How do you reboot though? 
the science behind That's it, right. man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the yeah. villain, basically, the villain was Genghis Khan's descendant. He also gene removed the gene. He was to fight for him. That is a whole team. Hai. So, we have those copies. So, we published that in Hindi and in English, okay. which was available in Irith. Cross- Irith. Irith. Yeah. Irith. Crossword, yeah. Landmark and Odyssey uh-huh. throughout the country. Um, this was when I was 17. Yeah. Uh, but you should have called him Chinggis Khan because in India, we call him Chinggis Khan. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they call him Chinggis Khan. Yeah, Genghis is like American. In fact, the Mo- Mongols call him Genghis. The word, right. yeah, Genghis was American. Like all the researchers. Why they couldn't say Genghis over? Probably uh, because no one. Because because you know there's no there's no record for such people. There's no uh, like document ki unhone kya kiya kya na. Like Americans just want to change everything. They, 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 they can they can but the world follows man they can not anymore. The history but, is written by the victor. Yeah, and they were... He's got the bigger stick, he's gonna write the history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, which is how the Britishers have written our history and we are like blindly following that. Think about it, everybody. they've actually written the world's history, man. Yeah. Dude, Britain had like so many colonies. It's and a country, it's yeah. the yeah. And dude, and, yeah. Outsiders go, Gaddi Dena, to apna bhi kaam hai. Uh, <laughs> Indians have always <laughs> given Gaddi's to outsiders. Yeah. Oh, please rule us. Oh, please rule us. Aditi Yeah. 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 So that, so this was one of the, so mm. one of the stories, so the second, like the third title that we were going to launch was um, Tikshna, which is a female superhero based yeah. story, where it was based back in time when Alexander the Great had, was trying to, in, to invade India right. and the way he died is, is mysterious. Right. One of the legends in India says that Chanakya uh-huh. had sent an assassin to Assassinated okay. Alexander. Okay. So so that he never comes back to it. So Uska based a story. Tha. Right. So um, our character, our lead superhero was a undead or an immortal okay. character. Right. So we did a lot of research and we got this story out. Then we took it to some really um, genius guys who which is where I learned so much about mythology and the Indian way of storytelling, hmm. the Greek way of storytelling. He said, um, that India may immortal or undead hum relate nahi kar sakte because India is not a nation who accepts zombies and undead creatures. Yeah. We believe and accept punarjan. Okay. Because the concept of karma mm. is there because there is a punarjan. Mm. If you remove the concept of karma, like if you remove punarjanam, karma doesn't hit you in the same life. It's yeah. not necessary. Yeah. So, which is why we had to change the entire story and you know try to bring it. And in the process, we ended up selling the IPs of the uh, comic book company. Right. And yeah, that is the end of nice, the nice. Uh, Arkham Comics uh, story. So, yeah, so which is why... Ever, ever, ever thought of resurrecting the idea? Okay. You can, right? You can. <laughs> it's a lot your... of money that goes into it. I understand. So that. designers take a lot of money, which yeah. is what I learned later. Uh, <laughs> to create one page. So in our case, per page ka karcha hota hai. Right. Raj Comics... Those guys like in one day, they take 5-5 pages. We have to take 3 days for each page. Lagte the, mm. din lagte the, mm. to create one page. Yeah, you, so you have just started. Yeah, there's like, no, for a normal, like a DC Marvel also, they take so much time. Right. And there is money. No one doesn't buy it here. Mm. This comic book culture is not so much. Yeah. Yeah. Not in India. Which was only in the North mein tha because of Raj. Yes. It's yes. not there in the western part of India at all. South will forget Chitra about it. Amar Chitra Gata. Amar Chitra Gata is so nostalgic. That people, they haven't even changed the artwork even yeah. in 2019 on purpose. Because it it's works. By design. Because it works. Nostalgia hit. I was seeing this, so I will do this for my children. Which is what is working. And it's good for me. I was eating popsicles in my childhood. Today my children have grown up, but they don't know what they are popsicles. So I will do them as well. So it works. Ah, nice. It works. Yeah. <laughs> the connection is amazing. So, you know, besides your start, so yeah, so do you consult? Yeah. So, so one I question before, 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 since you helped, has anyone ever come to you and, you know, you know, just, uh, you know, opened up and told you about his idea, his or her idea that, okay, Ron, this is what I really want to do, help me out. Do you ever get this feeling that, okay, this shit is going to bomb, <laughs> but you don't tell it to the person? I generally don't do that. Because most of the startups 
they end up like yeah. you know how it is yeah. right yeah, yeah now it's now the ratio like like 90% don't work yeah yeah 10% yeah, work yeah but you you know what ye to mere ko bhi nahi malum ki kya cheez chalne wala hai aur kya cheez nahi chal raha hmm um but you have that idea like that feeling ki yaar ye kya hai ye to fudu hai ye to nahi chalne wala ha mere ko aisa laga ki laga tha ek startup ke bare mein but i was completely wrong okay tell me about this it. was so this was in singapore um i was consulting through um, upwork and ela right, and these right. companies which is what funded my southeast asia ka <laughs> okay like, so you were freelancing on these yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so, so they actually so work right? they are, yeah. Yeah. no i don't think they work anymore yeah like they don't work so much so anymore much, yeah, right. like elans got taken over uske baad to maine koi project kara hi nahi hai but like aise koi ki portal pe but yeah tabhi to chal jata tha abhi competition itna hai hmm. और ऑनलाइन um, कैसे मालूम पड़ेगा किसी का प्रोफाइल देख के कि ये बहुत अच्छा है रन कर रहा नहीं है या हंड्रेड्स एंड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल आर या शिट लोड्स ऑफ पीपल आर क्लेम ओ आई मेक द बेस्ट बिजनेस प्लान द बेस्ट बिजनेस पेज ब्ला 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 सो यू गॉट टू सो या सो देयर वर अ कपल ऑफ स्टार्टअप्स वन ऑफ देम वाज ए कंपनी व्हिच वांटेड मी टू मेक द बिजनेस प्लान हु वर सप्लाइंग अम greenhouse equipment for the marijuana industry oh nice place. so they wanted so they wanted to so people who grow marijuana right after the after the legalization uske liye they were selling artificial the glass sun. house with lights yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. house to nahi but andar ka high tech stuff huh. which i never thought would make sense so mobile so you know you could water the plant uh, so through you, apps yeah through oh, apps oh, nice, and, nice. and they were selling hardware for it. right not the software huh. right. so so i never thought that it and be. was this for india no 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 this is for the us market. like potential indian market if it gets legalized no nothing no, no nothing like that i was just you know city wise or region specific kaam hmm. nahi kiya hai kabhi so okay whatever. so it was there oh. yeah yeah so um it was for the us and i was never too sure about you know selling such expensive Uh, you know connectors that would uh, connect uh, you know like separate kind of lights right so somebody had to invest huge amount of money to you know create one small farm right but it got legalized and i'm sure these guys must have made the mad made, like, money shit loads of yeah, money of course of course i think when, you know when it gets legalized in india right hope so so when it does i think i know a few people who are in who are you know in tune ki unko yahi karna hai because it's a huge business opportunity tata has invested shit loads of money in the hemp in the hemp, hemp, hemp yeah that's the safe zone that's what they because they're going to create as soon as it gets legalized yeah they're going to shift in logo kitna time plan to bhai <laughs> they just know they, they, but right now they uh, so uh, i i i got in touch with these uh, not in touch but i spoke to a few companies who make gear like traveling gear trekking gear sure. all from him all from him okay. like trekking bags and all sure. and i was like dude listen when you know indian market opens up yeah. so you should try and they were, everyone knows na yeah. you see the influx yeah. you see the companies from outside the way they are you know snailing yeah, yeah. 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 no but i meaning this term it might happen in this term I, i that's my yeah. prediction that in yeah. the next 5 years yeah, it's going to ha mereko aisa lag raha hai There's no harm in that. Yeah. These guys are stupid if they don't do that. They, Tax it. Yeah, Tax you should do. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. There's no other way. It's smiling way to clutch. I really <laughs> wanted to come out. I mean, <laughs> it's not that I'm a yeah. big ganjedi or such. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I really wanted to come out yeah. because yeah. I mean we are missing out. We yeah. actually are. There's an entire different yeah. world. Yeah. That's yeah. a crime. Whatever they are doing, it is illegal, right? That's the point, man. It's like you get it everywhere, wherever you go. Okay, so I come from Nasik. Okay. We have a Kumbh Mela happening every twelve years. Okay. So government authorized truckloads of mal. I have seen with my own eyes. So that, that's please cut this out. I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> but but we can say it again. But <laughs> <laughs> truckloads full of mal. I have seen with my own eyes. Right. Which has which had come for the yeah. babas. and and for the when you say mal is it the same that we see uh, shiv uh, kaun sa bolta it's weed it's grass it's not not bhang ke liye not done. no see wo uska purpose bhang mein hai ya aap usko chilam mein dalo ya aap usko bhang mein dalo wo mere ko nahi malum hai jab wo uska uh, that you make that beverage out of it that the body ka shirdai ya thandai ya shirdai jisko bolte hain usme dalte hain but that's a different consistency that's like you know मैंने इतना या मैंने इतना नहीं नोटिस करा या बट 
I I saw the trucks. Right. So yeah. Yeah. Um, and yes. yeah, and they were being being distributed. And nice. I yeah. I think you feel like right. people may start overusing it once it becomes too big. No, no, no. There's no such thing. It's it, look at alcohol, man. It's like what? No, yeah. like so today I know few people who probably don't smoke up as much as they would because of the sole fact that going and buying weed is kind of a very shady business. Yeah. It is. It is. If you get caught, See, you know what, and you get really dirty quality stuff also. If yeah. so, if one legalizes it, there'll be competition. There'll be competition. It'll, it'll be, be proper. It'll stuff. be a brand. So I want my like, brand to. Do you know the thing is in Canada? Canada legalized it, and my cousin's farm. He said that only the government has stores for it. So yeah. it, huh? they, have it, yeah, yeah, yeah. they have to regulate it. They have to regulate it. Tax it heavily, but you know this should come out and. It's again, as I've, I've, I've said this before, that right? it's not, for example, I have this tendency to overdo it. I'm going to do it, legal or not legal, right? Rohan is like, he wants no, to have fun. I just feel like maybe if it's more readily available, people may start overusing it. No, so start it as a medical marijuana yeah, medical. kind of a thing. I'm too all out for it. Yeah. Like, start it for recreation yeah, and medical. Recreation. medical. Go out with it. Yeah, yeah. No, often Start it for people like who have anxiety issues. It works on that. You know, right? It works on cancer. that. Profound effect on that. It does. So my bua, she had cancer. Okay. She is no more now. But when she didn't have it and she was getting uh, her treatment done in the US. Right. They actually gave her Medical marijuana marijuana. in a glass of milk or water or something. Okay. And she had it and she said that, hey man, it actually helped me. It helps um, chemo uh, yeah, patients, yeah. like people who are getting chemo receiving patients. chemo yeah. radiations, so they don't get the nausea and they don't get exactly. the pain and everything. And for that moment, they're you know away from you know all these mentally. mentally. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes all the sense in the world. But uh, yeah, again, marijuana is intoxicating whenever we talk about it. <laughs> so it all takes us to another topic. Uh, my fa- my father, I don't know. He my my dad was a cop, so he retired, right? So I usually don't talk. But he has seen all this stuff, right? So he is a man of law and order, right? So whatever law dictates, he has to do that. Of course. Whenever I sit with him and I have, uh, I won't even call it an argument. I'll call it. A dis- he he's a plausible man. He'll be like, yeah, if it has to get legalized, it should get legalized. Now that's a different question that. He knows whether I've consumed it or not. <laughs> so I hope he doesn't see this episode. Well, I am sure that to some extent, at least your parents, because of the kind of life you lived, I'm sure somewhere deep down, your father knows that he must have tried it at least. Whether. I've told him, I've told him that uh, Holi ke din mene bhang bhang pia maa pe mere calendar se do din nikal liya. I, I, I've, I've, I've spoken, but he knows ki itna bhi. He's not... You know, and yeah, it but... he has faith in me. <laughs> so, and now the fun part, bro. Let's talk about your motorcycle expeditions. Like how? Yeah, where? Where all? Like what have you done? So, um, I got inspired from my dad. Okay. He had an RD three fifty. Oh, nice. I learned how to ride a motorcycle on an RD three fifty. You learned on RD three fifty. Learned how to ride a motorcycle on RD. I've sat it's on so that bike. Been... I've never, you know, I, I, I've heard that that bike is a legend, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 So it's uh, so. Uh, when did Yamaha and Rajdoot actually? I'm not. Really but, sure. but, but it, it was, was Rajdoot before. Rajdoot. Yeah. It, and then it, it became Rajdut. Yamaha. I think Yamaha would have uh, invested in India when it wanted to probably okay. enter India. Yeah. Would have, you know, probably taken over Rajdut right. or something like that. Or probably they were using the same engine back right. in the day. Okay. I'm not very sure as hmm. to what, how, but yeah, it was a RD three fifty. The so Rajdut if you talk version. about fan following, right? Yeah. So I think the only bike that can actually give Bullet or Royal Enfield Classic a run for its money is RD350 right. because of the fan following RD350 has. People love that bike. Yeah. It's old. It has that noise that you know yeah. that whenever you yeah. give the throttle. Yeah. yeah. So you learned on that. Yeah. Tell me about it. So I learned how to ride a motorcycle on that bike, and yeah, since crazy since power, then, crazy power, bro. That bike, yeah, yeah it's so, an animal. <laughs> yeah. So when I was a, like like a really small kid. Mom, dad, and I would go on the motorcycle. I would okay. sit in the front, and you know, I would like keep my hands on the, the my way hand. Kids are, yeah. yeah. Of course, like dad would ride, yeah. but I would just keep my hand. And probably that is when the seed <laughs> was planted. Yes, was, this is it. <laughs> so for me, even now, I go into a meditative state whenever you're riding a motorcycle. I know. What Period. You're yes. Meri ko bed ke meditation nahi hota hai. Ha. Meri ko bike pe ab dalo. 
और बस छोड़ दो महाराष्ट्र में तो काफी बार राइड करा है but the first time i went was in i think in 2010 with a couple of buddies to lay before it was like all commercialized and before how i got laid mm. became popular yeah <laughs> i <laughs> hate those t-shirts man i i got laid yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> leh yeah post yeah, yeah. yeah. so i had an account on orkut at that point i had orkut and yeah, i got pictures there orkut i put some pictures <laughs> orkut yeah we had to spend some orkut so many times So yeah, so uh, it started in in Manali. Love the experience. So so uh, from Manali to Leh and back via Rotang. Yeah. Yeah, via Ro, uh, Rotang Pass. We we came at the same way. Okay. We didn't go to the uh, via. I think that's the Ras Kargil. If you do the Kashmir Wala road, that's right. Ah, Kash. Ah, uh, ki Kashmir Wala road. Yeah. Then you have office. to go through Jammu and then you hit uh, Kashmir and then Ladakh. That's a better road, I've heard. That's a proper full-fledged tarmac. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, not not in the grass to... area. That that's where it gets a little, you know, rocky. Sure. But but uh, that's just a little patch. But then Kargil is good and Ladakh is awesome. Then I went to Bhutan on the bike. Ah, oh, nice. How do you uh, go to Bhutan? Like from where do you go to Bhutan? From Pagdogra. So you start from there. So uh, after Bhutan, I went to Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. On the bike and Nagaland. Right. And a bit into Myanmar, not officially though. I really um, have to see not officially. I've heard it's Myanmar. good. It's good. No, it's ultimate. Mm-hmm. It's ultimate. Northeast, Northeast yeah. is mad. So um, we started the journey from Kohati. Uh-huh. Um, went to Tawang, then came right. back, then right. went towards Tezpur, and then zero. करके. Ha- how Tezpur. many bikes and how many people? We were four of us. Four. Um, in the uh, in the Arunachal Pradesh leg. And yeah, we had um, a guy with us who used to write. Who and what were you writing on the motorcycle? We were doing that on the Hero Impulse. Hero Impulse. Hero, Hero Impulse, the modified engines. Okay. All all engines were mod. We oh, had one hundred and eighty. Two bikes. Two, two two. Four bikes. Four bikes and four bikes. Four guys. Four Impulse and four Impulses. Okay. Um, Enfield उधर चलता नहीं है because there's no road there. So a classic three fifty or an Electra जिसके ऊपर मैंने ले किया था. Right. I could have I. It was impossible for me to do that in to Nagaland. Okay. Arunachal Pradesh is great. It's got fantastic roads. Right. It's the most beautiful place I've ever visited in my life. Arunachal. Arunachal. Hmm. Um. So every. So Leh me kaisa tha that you see these army convoys that pass hmm. by. You know, it empowers you. You're like, yeah. Yeah. In Have you ever got Arunachal stuck Arunachal? between a convoy? So you you know Jawahar Tunnel right? Okay. So uh, do you know Jawahar Tunnel? I don't so know. So when you go name. to Kashmir via uh, road right okay. from Jammu, okay. so there's this two uh, two uh, two two and a half kilometer tunnel. That's the you know gateway to Kashmir. That's how right. you enter Kashmir in okay. a way. Usse pehle Bani Hal that district and then you cross that tunnel and the weather changes. It's beautiful. So that Jawahar Tunnel, I got stuck between an army convoy at that time. Before we entered the tunnel, I was all yeah, 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 mm-hmm. you know, because uh, whatever. अच्छा tunnel के अंदर you got stuck. Dude, it's horrible. Oof. It's I couldn't breathe scary. because it's it is scary. It's not you know. I was like, थोड़ी देर बाद I got that bitter taste in my mouth, right? Because of so much carbon monoxide that you're inhaling, I had to breathe because sure. I couldn't. And I was in that gypsy police वाला, right? Uh-huh. So uh-huh. it's open most uh-huh. of the places, like windows and that have कपड़ा uh-huh. over it. It's very scary, army, army, and two kilometers, and I was like literally looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. I was like, "Aja, bhai, ab to aja, ab to aja." Yeah, That was crazy. But anyway, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, so that happened, and then Nagaland, entire north to south, entire Nagaland on the bike. Yeah. Um, we also en- uh, we entered Myanmar right. illegally. We oh. did not have uh, papers. We did not, yeah, we didn't permissions like, or something. You need yeah. that. Of course, you have to officially enter through Moray, okay. which is the uh, border crossing right. between India and Myanmar. Right. So we entered through Mon. Right. So that Mon is Arunachal. You go from Arunachal. Ar- 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 Arunachal se hote hobe vapis niche Tezpur se aake fir uh, na, ke, Nagaland mein. What, what Nagaland connects uh, Myanmar? Yes. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, so of course 
Uh, you have to, I think, enter Manipur and then Moray comes. Okay. I, I, I've never been, so yeah, yeah. I, I don't know the borders. Yeah. Exactly. So, but uh, Nagaland does connect uh, Myanmar. with Myanmar. Okay. So we went to a place called as Lungwa, which Lungwa. is in the district Mon. Okay. It is, uh, so which is where India ends. Right. So, you know, there's a BRO, which is the Border Road Organization, Organization yeah. ka huge poster, like a huge wall that says that we could have gone further, but the border has stopped us. Huh. So I said, Rasta ja rahe, and then they're like, nothing. Right. Oh, it, India is over. Okay. Like literally yeah. like that. There is a huge But a tarred road, this, right? But a tarred road till there and then khatam. Then there's nothing. The road also ends. Road also ends. Oh, there's nothing. You just can't go. <laughs> right. So we went. So Jesse up neither um village ke sarpanch hote hai. Uh-huh. Pe ang karke unko kaha uh-huh. jata hai. Ang, okay. A-N-G. So uh, we went to this ang's house. Whose house falls on the international border between India and in Myanmar. Huh. Uh, so he handles around 50 villages or something. Okay. So 30 of which are in Myanmar and 10 or 20 of which are in only in India. Okay. And his house falls on the border. Right. So we enter through India. We sit in their living room, which is in India. Mm. And you go to their kitchen, which is in Myanmar. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Awesome. Seriously. Awesome. So as soon as you enter his house, there's this huge skull of this animal that, you know, this guy would have hunted. Hunted, yeah. And then he's got like tattoos on his face nice. and shit like that. So he's a Naga basically, right? This guy. Yeah, he's a yeah, Naga. Yeah. So Nagas, uh, so that particular tribe, uh, which are called as the headhunters. Okay. Headhunters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually <laughs> headhunters. So the more heads you hunt, the, the bigger tattoos, tattoos you get. <laughs> yeah. And we are seeing this guy who's like completely green. I'm like, fuck, he's also my Indian guy. But was he, was he like cordial? Like, was he warm? Very warm, yeah. very cordial. Those people are extremely So did he, did he share any experience, like, you know, head hunting experience with you? Because I was so wondering. basically, they, they obviously speak a different language. Yeah. Maybe, so they don't speak Hindi or yeah. English or something like that. So they have their own... Not and amazing. what's the district's name? Uh, Lungwa. 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 K in the Mon. M O N. And the tri- do you have any idea what the tribe is called? You know that. Um, I wouldn't. Because I wouldn't we we have we have a common friend from okay. Nagaland. I would okay. really like. He he's a crazy guy. I'm trying to get that guy on the podcast, but he tell not. him to tell you stories about Vokha. And in Nagaland, if I offer you tea, you take the damn tea. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if so, if, if you don't ha- want to have it, you still so. You can offer me this stuff. Right. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. And you give it. And then I'll give it. So you have Lede to. Lede ka. Ah. Lede. So there's this, yeah. there's this lady in Pune. I follow her account. Uh, she, uh, I, I'm also trying to get her on the show. Uh, I, her name is Kavita. And she goes by the name The Green Bonneville. Have you ever heard about this? Okay. No. No? No? So she travels a lot like on by solo okay. ride, solo ride. So what's your solo ride experience? I, I really like her account. I'm, I hope she says yes. Sure. To, yeah, to, uh, but like when you don't have anyone else, as you said, it's, sure. it's your meditation when yeah. you are by. Yeah. I totally can relate to it because, you know, I think a man needs his motorcycle. Absolutely. When I say man, I, it's, a, it's yeah, like it's, an umbrella term. It's a guy. Yeah. Like... Sorry, it's a person. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> what the is to get you know? <laughs> Yeah. So anyway. But, but women I, need their motorcycles, but a man needs a bike. Yes, needs let's be more that. definitely. Yeah. And, and his space. Yeah, statistically, uh, you know, I think a man needs his motorcycle. Whatever the fuck. But <laughs> a man. Oh, we need those shoes. Like her. Or diamonds. Or diamonds. Or diamonds. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, diamonds are, I think, on the... Aren't they? Yeah. I think so. You tell me. No, honestly, like if somebody gave me a choice between diamonds and shoes, I would be so confused. So yeah, that thing, right? But yeah, we need a motorcycle. motorcycle. <laughs> yes, it's freedom <laughs> at the. You probably yeah, like definitely a motorcycle. Yeah, and your you were a barista. That yeah. that I am really you know. No, I still am. I still am. You give me a machine and I'll make like the all best sorts, all sorts latte. Or right. a cappuccino, or so a macchiato, what, 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 what whatever you want to be Was it, was it, was it uh, you know, uh, survival and the need to earn that? No. Or was uh, it passion when you were, you know? Mix of both. Okay. I was studying in Singapore for a while. Right. Uh, which is when I was a part of another startup called as Luwak Specialty Coffees. Okay. Wherein we were dealing with the world's most expensive and exotic coffees, uh-huh. which we sourced from all these uh, smaller nations from around right. Singapore. And we would repack them and sell it to Dubai and South Korea and Australia hmm. and stuff like that. Um, and we also conduct coffee appreciation workshops. Right. 
where we would teach people about coffee. Mm-hmm. We used to sell those on Groupon and Dot right. mm-hmm. Singapore and stuff like that. So while we um, were obviously when this came to be, I wanted to know more about coffee. coffee. So I'm like, hey, what's the best way to know more about coffee? Let's become a barista. Right. And I, I loved coffee all my life. Right. And I went for a, a course. barista course. Right. And I got the course and done. And yeah, that's how I became a barista. And right. I also conducted a few co- coffee appreciation workshops. Right. Like right. many. I we had like 700 participants in six hmm. months. 700 people get to. Uh, so th- there are a lot of wine connoisseurs, right? Yes. Yeah, but somehow that doesn't attract me that much. I really want to go into coffee. I really want to go deep into coffee. I would love that. I would love yeah. that. It's yeah. there's something about coffee. I don't know. It's just... <laughs> so there's so many intricate details about coffee. Now, say a tea. Right. Right? If you if if I keep pouring water hmm. into this tea bag, it'll still extract some of the other thing. Tea oh. may extract hota rehta hai, to pani dalte rehta Thoda, thoda wo kam kam hota hai, but it'll right. keep on extracting. Okay. But if you extract coffee, right. if you put it in the machine, machine and then extract, pours, yeah. ek baar mein sab coffee nikal jata hai. Tu vapis agar usme do paani dal, to kuch extract nahi hota hai. Oh, okay. So, it acts in a very different way. Right. Coffee, of course this happens with every plant and whatever, fruit and everything, but yeah. coffee jaha pe grow hota hai, it's mm. called as the equatorial bed. Right. I mean, coffee grow yeah, hota yeah, hai. Yeah. Maximum consume hota hai in the northern hemisphere. Hmm. Jahan pe coffee grow hi nahi hota. Right, exactly. So, so yeah. that is why it is the world's largest traded commodity after oil. If hmm. you petrol and diesel, then the most coffee trade hota hai. Hmm. Aur hote aaya hai. Hmm. We all know uh, our mocha. We all yeah. li- like the Not mocha. Not a big fan. Yeah, I, yeah, right? like, like, like people, all, uh, yeah. keep, people like mocha. Um, it, so they make it with chocolate. Chocolate, yeah, yeah. These days. How did the name Mocha come into being? Yeah, I want the to know. port of Mocha hmm. was from was a port hmm. from where this particular coffee was imported into Italy. Okay, that was just or coffee. Europe. That was just Only coffee. From no, because there are many things that happen, but the port of Mocha, Mocha, say, and the beans from Mocha. particular okay. coffee came. Right. And by the time it would reach, it would have this coffee, uh, this chocolatey aftertaste. Like, what's going on? What's going on? So uh, the barrel. Was a was a wooden barrel, okay. and the humidity of the entire journey of the of the uh, coffee would affect the coffee. It beans. percolated the vat, and it, it, it that gave the flavor. That gave the flavor of chocolate, which is why the mocha became the mocha. Okay. Nowadays, I can relate it to bourbon to it. and Tennessee Tennessee whiskey. You know, even they have a little different procedure. Okay. They don't mix yeah, anything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm not that, uh, you know, sure about it, but, you know, it, they, so the way they pro- store it. Probably the oak uh, barrels affect right. the flavor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They uh, uh, they fire up the barrel from, from the inside and then they pour the whiskey in it. Okay. Similarly, in the coffee, they wouldn't do anything different. It would just come from this particular port and the time taken for the journey to reach uh, the ports of Europe. Right. It would affect its flavor and it would taste a bit But it was like just coffee. that particular batch of mocha. No, not batch. All the coffee that would come come from the port of Mocha, right. which were grown there, and oh. it would come to Europe from the port of Mocha, right. were all chocolate, nice, like flavored, which is why it's the Mocha. Yeah. Abhi Americano ko Americano kyun bola jata hai? Because uh, during World War Two, hmm. when the Americans uh, landed in Italy, right, unke liye espresso shot was too strong for them. Okay. So isko ek Americano de so espresso shot mein pani dal ke pani dal ke which is why americana is called as the americana hmm. because it was served to the americans right because they couldn't uh, so they didn't like the espresso shot hmm. they were used to having the black coffee right so americana nice no. that's it i'm not too sure about that <laughs> everybody have that definitely italian so of course the uh, cappuccino wala hota hai latte wala hota hai a lot of people don't know the difference about all of that also so there's of course there's Ways of making it. Yes. The so amount of cream and uh, milk. milk and foam. And, and the, foam, yeah. also the concentration of coffee. Like how strong it is. That's just, that's high, that's pure measurement. One shot or two, double shot or single shot. That's yeah. up to the person who wants the coffee. So actually, um, latte cappuccino both have uh, equal amount of coffee. Coffee, yeah. 25 ml. It's a, it's a, uh, usually shot. it's single shot. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a single shot. But only use me kitna milk, kitna foam. Yeah. Hai. 
then there's a thing called as latte art which a lot of people are doing these days so wo latte jab bhi coffee banate hain uske upar ya cream se wo karte hain heart banate hain so this is very star hum sirf heart hi bana sakte hain but there are people who have gone i know i've seen the videos i was saying yeah shin chana also and they do it just by pouring the cream that's it by the milk it's the milk that's the fr- that's some art that's some art so in bombay there's a place that makes glitter or coffee like they have sugar that's uh-huh. refined and it's so tiny and it's got i think it's got a little bit of color but it adds like that shine i saw it on inside or okay. business so those guys show stuff from all over the world and the yeah. coffee but they will come on inside or from glitter coffee are you serious <laughs> coffee is huge business huge huge business i would like it is man and um Hugh, Hugh Jackman uh, started his uh, coffee company right i think he has he and Ryan Reynolds started his gin and they are just Is doing it? it together like they they are promoting it together yeah, yeah. yeah. so of course in india there is a, a lot of coffee that's grown in the south of india which hmm. is in the uh, chikmagalur uh, region uh, Kar- uh, karnataka has a lot of coffee and, and even K- northeast has a lot of coffee that people don't know about. I always thought not tea for I tea. thought it for tea yeah yeah also coffee, coffee huh? also, yeah. okay so it's a they have a different time zone you know that market they, uh, I have a friend who has a coffee estate in Karnataka in Karnataka in Karnataka they, you you will find in Karnataka but and I didn't know about northeast no the in northeast has fantastic coffee also and okay. you are absolutely right that they are in a different time zone completely there was so there was a 7 pm uh, their day starts earlier than us yes uh, it's called uh, daylight saving No, no, no. no, that, no. That, that's the process. That's, that, that's the thing that you Americans do, right? They yeah. turn so their. So basically, they lie in the Chinese time zone. Okay, if we're talking about uh, North North East, East. North East. But obviously, India wouldn't want that. We wanted we one. Want we, we wanted one as one. So I mean, yes. Yeah. Um, this is term. Uh, uh, ba- ba- no, ba- ba- no, 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 fuck no, ba- no, no. I don't know. This is time zone. Uh, they call it. There's this word for northeast time zone, and there were protests for that because they wanted that time yeah, zone to different time zone. Yeah, exactly. But then, of course, but it doesn't make sense. Honestly, it's uh, good to have one time zone for the entire country. Uh, I think it works. Single time zone. See, you know what? Uh, Unlike Russia, Russia has many. Right? All the time zones. Like, yeah, Russia, like, Russia. They're in every time zone. Like, <laughs> all the time. Zones. Yeah, they have all the time zones. Yeah. So you know what? For India, it's such a sensitive subject. Yeah. That northeast was neglected for so many years yeah. but first hand i've seen that the amount so we would have seen um walkways to pave roads to single lane to double lane to then four lanes yeah. now we're seeing eight lane lanes yeah. there it's starting from four lanes northeast that doing dev- like development there is going crazy they're starting with like really four lane visit that place shuru hi four lane se ho raha i went there in 97 and okay. the world that i've seen is so i went for gymnastics ka nationals okay, okay. and i was a kid huh. so we uh, the train uh, it only went till uh, guwahati okay. so we started yeah, yeah, in yeah. guwahati yeah, and yeah. then you have to take a bus because we had yeah, to go yeah, to agartala service. agartala yeah. it was a two two and a half day ka bus ka trip and we covered shillong and everything the food wasn't that great yeah. i the food was really weird for me or maybe the dhaba where we stopped wasn't that good 97 i don't know so we ended up eating sauce and ketchup and rice or ketchup and naan because we had yeah. to eat something yeah. with yeah. campa cola <laughs> or whatever yeah. so so abhi momos jaate khana so <laughs> yeah i momo nahi milta hai No, no, no. No, look, that's a Nepal influence. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with Northeast. Bhutanese and Nepal, I guess. Uh, Thukpa and all these. No, not Bhutanese. Uh, Tibetan. Tibetan. Yeah, Tibetan. Of course. Yeah. And Nepal. So Agartala and Tripura. Suddenly, you know, when you see Tripura, thing change. It's like a proper city, yeah, city. Yeah. Very crowded, but city. But the journey, and we had to escort. Uh, escort cars like uh, CRPF or BSF, some okay. because at that time it was very disturbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like like until now it was very very disturbed. It, it was so volatile and you know nobody yeah. cared about it. Or it kya chal raha hai? Now it's like in the mainstream. Now development there. It's and Sikkim is another beast. I've heard it's very beautiful. I've seen See, pictures. If you want to go there, don't go to the commercial. Never, centers. never, never. Never. I want to go to the hills and yeah. you know, I want to see the real places. Go to Imphal. Imphal. Yes. Go to Dimapur. Dimapur. <laughs> Dude, we went to Nagaland. Udhar raste nahi hai. Huh. So off-roading tha pura. Okay. Entire leg was off-roading. So we did around twenty-four hundred kilometers. Huh. Out of which I would say around seventeen, eighteen hundred to hundred percent. Oh, your butts must have. Thank God we didn't have the. 
Hari. Hari. Thank God oh. we didn't have the Royal Enfield. That's right. why we had taken the Impasse. Impasse. So, so that's great for the whole thing. We were, yeah, yeah we were like yeah. drifting like, because I've done Hari five, I am I'm, I'm I'm glad that I took a 500 cc because the power never gave me an issue when I was going to yeah, Khardungla. Why didn't you why, uh, why didn't you uh, go in for the interceptor? Yeah, because interceptor straight away gives another you know one lakh upper budget. Ah. So the budget ah. was saying so that's why I went for to the 500 cc. And you did not like the Himalayan. Hima- no, I'm not a big Himalayan fan. Because I'm sure performance-wise, it's amazing. I prefer the Himalayan over the regular classics. I'm more so of a... <laughs> Himalayan, yeah, to fill Interceptor. Yeah, Interceptor is beautiful. It is beautiful. But even but if I... Course, but I have to choose... If I have to choose between the 650 twins, I will go for the Continental GT. Because now you get the style, right? You get the taste. I'm more of a... Uh, the urban... Not urban, but because I like Classic 500. Sure. So I'm Classic 500 or Continental GT. I won't okay. go for Interceptor or Himalayan. So if you can judge from that. Ah, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we've covered a lot. But I, you know, before we finish, I want to talk about softball. Nine times champion. That was, that was, that was, that was, was it just, were you just fucking around? Or no, 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 no. That was true. So I've, I've been playing softball all my younger years. If for for people who don't know what the fuck what So let's just differentiate is. between softball and baseball first. Yeah. yeah. So baseball is uh, of course it's a way where you pitch from from above the uh, from yeah. above the shoulder. So the uh, pitching softball, is the only difference. Pitching and the size of the ball is the only difference. Earlier they used to use a big soft kind of No, uh, softball is just called a softball. The but ball they, is they, not soft. Not anymore. The only reason why baseball didn't pick up well because the baseball association is a completely different um, entity and the softball association is a different entity. Okay. Entity. Softball association was more active and okay. they held state level, national level championships. I, I, the baseball I, association I'm never baseball hold that. Baseball is not even there. There in India. No, no. Exactly. Because I'm so talking about Jammu. So Jammu me when I was growing up, I used to see people playing softball, girls, guys at you know grounds and playing softball. And I was like, dude, that's crazy. We are playing yeah. baseball and all. Like we don't have DC no, Comics, no, but we are playing. Have, <laughs> no, no, we do have a JNK team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were playing. Uh, since J- JNK team bhi tha. I was captain of of Ma- uh, of Maharashtra Achha, state. A? No state. Uh, but they're mostly uh, juniors. Tha. So, so I've seen Maharashtra and Maharashtra B all my life when I used to go for TT, right? So there was Maharashtra event. So they were they were the best players and Achha. then there was a B. No, no, we didn't have a B. We just yeah. had a tu II bot. So but is state levels was there. Okay. So state levels was extremely competitive. Uh, we had like all the cities of Maharashtra who, who were participating. Like everything from Bombay, Pune, Thane, right. like Nasik, Jalga, Sangli, Amravati, right. all these places that you've never heard of also like right. even Goa would come and get okay. the team and shit like that so I had gone to Goa like two years back yeah. and we were just like walking on the beach and suddenly I see people playing baseball like fuck let's go and play somewhere right. so we did that also uh, so yeah we had like a really competitive thing of mm. softball going on in this part uh, when I was playing it abhi mere ko malum nahi ki kitna right. uh, so uh, do they have the same four platforms and when you hit you have to run yes rules are same same rules it's just that the pitching is different. Pitching is different. Um, the size of the ball is ball different. Ball is different. Okay. Ki thoda sa chota hai pitch because you have to pitch under arm. Under arm. Okay. So thoda sa chota hai and and obviously ये ऐसा कि tappi वगैरह नहीं करना. One tap नहीं चलता है इसमें. But isn't it isn't it, isn't it like uh, it has to be a little easier than baseball, right? Because once you th- pitch with, you know, what do you call that? Overarm? So, uh, overarm, overarm. overarm pitch is like it's a fast, proper right? throw. You so, can act. Which, which according to me makes more sense to hit and even Equal for the and ball to reach the exactly, catcher. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yahan pe to ball catcher to pochana wo speed say is also very difficult. Right. Initially, softball was started for girls in the US. I was about to say that, but yeah. I was like, will I, will I be, uh, you know, introducing a no. sexist remark that a girl can't pitch properly? <laughs> no, but genuinely for <laughs> convenience, yeah. back in the day they had done it. Um, the way they, they usually, you know, uh, separate, like even if short put, so they have 8 yeah. pounds and 12 pounds. So yeah. that's how they, yeah, you know, girls guys, that's how they differentiate. Yeah. So, yeah, so, so it actually had started for girls in right. the US, but I don't know how it caught up, it uh, caught on in India. So I wanted to play with, so my dad took me to, to play judo. Ah, nice. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to go Intense. I was like, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym. So the fucking training was that, that, 
वन आर्म में से ट्वेंटी और थर्टी रोल रोल एंड रोल रोल ऑन योर रोल इतना रिटायर लगता था मेरे को वो एंड द मैक्स दैट दे हैड आई थिंक पचास साल में तो उसको धोया नहीं आएगा आई थिंक वो पचास साल पूरा नहीं आएगा दैट्स द स्टोरी एवरी ओह माय फकिंग गॉड आई इन आवर स्टेडियम इफ यू एंटर द इन आवर स्टेडियम इफ यू एंटर द जूडो हॉल राइट यू डोंट इवन नीड टू एंटर द जूडो हॉल इफ यू आर पासिंग थ्रू द हॉल इट इज यू या दैट विफ एंटर्स यू एंड यू लाइक डूड देयर इज लाइक स्वेटी मेन एंड वुमेन जस्ट थ्रोइंग ईच अदर टॉसिंग ईच अदर एंड लाइक वन एंड देन यू हियर दैट था या था टू था या सो क्रेजी Like great for people who love judo, you know. Martial arts is awesome, man. I am. I am, I am not for judo. Yeah. I can. So I did ninjutsu. Ka <laughs> you, you just went fancy. Man. No, ninjutsu ka teacher tha nasik mein. Okay. Who you know? I was like, wow, fuck. Just start. I'm like, throw it. Just start. Yeah, man. So, so he uh, came to pitch that, right? That I'm ninjutsu teacher. Like. I was like boss apan ja ke apan pahunch gaye apan mein stars pehne hi wala ho abhi kal uth ke subah ko and and aur ki ninja ban hi gaya main to so he started teaching and uh, my aunt uh, has a nursery school like a play school where what you operate so she uh, would lend us the hall and you okay. would practice there right. <laughs> tried to do that yeah. for a couple of months yeah. but then the teacher was like कुछ तो भी खेलना पड़ेगा के पहले जो Yeah, 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 Atari. Jo. But no, not one. the TV one, but the one no, handheld one. Oh, TV, TV one. TV one. Nine ninety nine in one. Name, name a game. Cartridge. Name a game. Baseball. Baseball. Oh yeah. Okay. So okay. contra ke pehle. Ha ha ha. How old are you? Guys? I'm thirty. Oh, you're not. I'm thirty-one. Thirty. Okay. okay. So then it was there. Man. Yeah, it was there. So contra ke pehle because I have to like. No, contra was eight bit. When, 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 contra was when eight bit got famous, right? No, eight bit. Was sixteen? No, was thirty-two bit. Tha. I'm sixteen bit ki baat. Contra was 8 bit. Yeah, yeah, Contra I played Contra 8 bit. I remember. Okay. Contra and Super Contra. Contra Contra ke sath hi hoga wo. So baseball tha and you know I, I think Atari it. and media, Indian was media if you remember media media, media yeah. So media that cartridge media, thing yeah. Bas, 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 yeah, yeah. Baseball. So media. I bas, love that baseball. I remember that baseball. Oh yeah, yeah. Spartan so, that kung fu game. You know, you know actually like stop anywhere like aisa. So yeah, you yeah. Could, like stop this lager right here and <laughs> keep it that way. Yeah. So I used to play that, hmm. and I was like, I just said it baseball. I was like, shy, it will not happen. Like, no, there is somebody. <laughs> Let's go. So I went. I sat, and that day when I sat, and he was showing it to me on the chalkboard, right. I was completely sold. And I was like, boss, I'm going to play it. Okay, awesome. So, a lot of years I played. Then when I moved uh, to Pune, I, you know, then I got a little. Yeah, I know. I was sports. But you were like playing cricket. Of course, Dhanraj Pillai is from Maharashtra, and he was the captain yeah. of the Indian hockey team. Yeah, who doesn't know Pillai? Yeah, but lately it's all in you know like North India where you know, it's like dominated. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I have seen that team. It's very common. So I loved hockey. I would love to play hockey even now if if given a choice. Right. I would love to play polo also. Oh, it's yeah. fun. Okay. You know how that was. We yeah when I was growing up we had a boss ah nice yeah. nice mm, yeah we had a why didn't you go into what's that called Equest- equestrian equestrian uh, what's that sport where it's a very sophisticated sport George 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 no no not George thing George thing is fatal man <laughs> like you kill each other <laughs> George thing is like killing each <laughs> killing each other no 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 <laughs> In, <laughs> it's called e- equestrian Olympics okay. may if you've seen you know this is इतना बढ़िया नहीं यहाँ पर good okay 
खाली उसको भगा कम्युनिकेट टू दॉर्स ट्राई टू स्पीक टू दॉर्स शाबाश टू दॉर्स and you know like fun yeah, fun yeah, stuff feed him apple or good or whatever yeah. good to nahi wo proper horse ka khana khata tha fodder <laughs> nahi ha and fodder chana chana mochi chana mochi chana chana bhi chana fodder tha yeah khata tum badhiya main udhar khada rehta tha i would see it yeah and you, you know even feed him now i just have a dog tu hi mera koda pokemon Yeah, let's say that. Yeah, anyway, that's how we end it. That, yeah, that's how usually. No, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we end the conversation, guys. But you know, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything else that you want to share? Anything else? I don't. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think I'm fine. I yeah. think good. I had a good time. I had an amazing time. I, I think we fun. need more sessions to you know cover individual subjects. That's with every single guest that I've had. Every single because one hour, one and a half hour. That's why I tell people it's not enough. But anyway, I had fun, man. It was like a good conversation after such a long time. It was amazing. Awesome. Fun. I mean, thank you for doing this with us. Thanks a lot thanks, for man. you know letting me do this. Uh, thanks, man. thanks. And thanks to Goku for you know letting us. <laughs> He's always like, there. Holding man. the mic for so fucking creep. <laughs> holding the mic. Yeah, Goku is holding the mic for such a long time. <laughs>